In this video, I'll walk through an example of taking the integral of parametric equations. Consider a curve defined by the parametric equations x equals t squared and y equals negative one-half t squared plus t plus five. Find the area under the curve from t equals zero to t equals three. The area under that curve I'll show right over here. So this is a graph that is defined by these parametric equations. And when t equals zero, then x would equal zero because x is t squared or zero squared. So that's right here. And when, I'll write that here, t equals zero. And when t equals three, x would be nine because three squared is nine. So that would be right here. So this is when t equals three. So a, a particle, you could say, or something moving along this graph from time t equals zero to time t equals three traces out this curve. And we're looking at, or looking for, this area under the curve. Okay, now to find that, of course, we would just take the integral. But this is something different from what we're used to. We're, we're used to just taking the integral with respect to x or with respect to y. So here's what I'm going to give you. If you have some function defined parametrically and you want to find the area between time t equals alpha, I'll give it to you the way books give it to you, and t equals beta, then this is what you would use. This area equals the integral from alpha to beta of the y function multiplied by the first derivative of the x function. And then, of course, the integral would be with respect to t. So, uh, other books would, would say this. They'll say that this equals uh, f of t and the y function equals g of t. And so you might see it written like this from alpha to beta of g of t, f prime of t. And that's just the same thing I wrote here, right? So instead of writing y, I wrote uh, they have g of t function, which is up here. And instead of the for dx dt, they have f prime of t. OK, so, so we know what that means. Now, let's do it. Let's see here. We need the, to find this area in blue, we need the integral from 0 to 3, because that's what we're looking for. And the integral of what? Well, it's the integral of the y function. That's this. So that's negative 1 half t squared plus t plus 5 times dx, dx dt and dx dt will equal 2t. I've just taken the derivative of this. So times 2t, of course, the integral with respect to t. So I've got this integral now of uh, negative t to the third plus 2t squared plus 10t dt. Now, I, I did that by just distributing this 2t, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and take the antiderivative of this. And that is negative t to the fourth over 4 plus 2t to the third over 3 plus 5t squared evaluated from 0 to 3. And so that is the opposite of 81, well, why don't I write it in this way? I like to show what I'm doing here. 3 to the 4th over 4 plus 
2 times 3 to the 3rd over 3 plus 5 times 3 squared. All of this minus, of course, we have to pay attention to this 0. And I know a lot of times with the polynomials, it just ends up being 0. But if you have trigonometric, make sure you're, you're not uh, just disregarding the 0. But I know it's going to be 0 plus 0 plus 0 of course when we plug in the zero for those two okay in the end I'll switch back to blue so I'm signaling this area here in the end we have an area of 42.75 and that was found by taking the integral of these parametric equations